Chelsea drew with a good attacking performance but made two defensive errors that Everton capitalized on. In possession, Chelsea found in Fofana a key player in the build-up. He played one of his best games with good long passes, switching plays and carrying the ball into the opposition half with ease. In midfield, Enzo Fernandez was at a very high level, in this play making the best decision under pressure with a perfect pass, continuing the play looking for a space to receive the ball again and another outstanding progressive pass. He was also very accurate on long balls and appearing in the last third through carrying, dribbling and being very intelligent in his passes in the edge of the box, showing great vision, in addition to finishing some plays. In attack, the most inspired player was Joao Felix who is gradually finding his best version and showed great mobility throughout the match, appearing at the back of the Everton midfield to receive and turn, as well as in place inside the box where he understood very well where the free space was to receive and give the key pass or finish the play. Thus came the first goal with a ball he received in the edge of the box and a score with a perfect shot. Joao Felix's movements were exploited by both Chilwell and Rhys James, receiving free as Everton had to close inside a lot due to the movements of the Portuguese and Havertz, leaving the flanks free. Chelsea combined very well the plays inside and the crosses from the flank, making it very difficult for Everton to defend. In one of these, James plays a 1 2 with Joao Felix to create some space down the right. He's looking to pick out a cross when Tarkovsky brings him down from behind and the referee points the spot and Havertz scores the penalty. Despite scoring two goals, Chelsea still had too many defensive mistakes conceding two goals. The first one with the specialty of Sandijk in a corner. A good cross from McNeil, Tarkovsky gets highest on the far side on the edge of the 6 yard box, his header loops towards goal and Ducure is in the right place to finish. And in the second, it's a long ball over the top from Mikolenko, Ducure passes to Sims on the left, Koulibaly defends too far, Sims brushes him aside to get into the box before having a quick glance up and firing his low shot past Kepa. Chelsea continue to grow on the ball but they need to improve in defense as soon as possible to face Real Madrid in the Champions League.